Okay, welcome back again to the Lamplighters League. So when we left off last time, we had uh, hunted the Deep Slayer. Um, we'd uncovered um, this further mission here, which is linked to these two, um, what we call preparation missions, where we can basically, um, we don't have to do these, um, but if we do, it will have different effects to make this mission easier. Um, so I think we'll probably do those. But that's probably not what we're going to be doing this week. Um, so we'll choose the mission in a second. Mr. Greymore, I'd like a word. Lord Greymore, technically, but you can call me Isaac. Isaac? <clears throat> you would do better to save your aggression for your enemies, not your teammates. Oh dear. Am I too hard on you, Anna? Yes, you are, to be honest. And I want you to stop. How terrible. I had no idea. You see, no one ever taught me how to behave myself. Will you teach me, Anna? Please. You know perfectly well how to behave. You just choose not to. Do better. For you, I will try. But only for you. <laughs> okay, so... It's not going to be this one this week, I don't think. We have got some... Um, Some of these other missions again. I don't think I'm too fussed yet about unlocking any more special missions. We've got a few of them to be going on with. So we do have safe house mission, which is it's not worth not doing that. Um, all these other ones cost intel. So we'll do this one, definitely, uh, with someone who we're not taking on the main mission. So we need to pick the main mission first. So it's not going to be this one yet, I don't think. Um, which means Nicastro is probably going to be hitting a uh, breakpoint pretty soon. Um, again, we can't stop them all hitting these um, on, on the same... They are going to reach some of these. This one here is a quite a big um, reduction. I think this is the other special mission that we unlocked. Yeah, so this one will basically push them all the way back to the previous uh, breakpoint, I think. Um, this one will keep the Castro down. This one decreases Strum, but only by a small amount. And we've got the... Um, we have got the uh, Scion on that one as well. Or we've got this one for Marto, again with the Scion. So, I'm actually tempted to do this one. Push Marto right back quite a bit. Um... Yeah, I mean, three difficulty with a Scion. Um, three and a half with a Scion. And we've never seen this Scion before either, so I don't particularly uh, fancy either of those two. We are going to have to start doing these at some point, but I think I'm tempted to do this one. So this is to destroy a Crossroads Beacon. It's only a two difficulty mission, this as well. Um... Yeah, I think we go for this, this week. So, who do we take? Again, I do tend to gravitate still towards similar similar groups of agents for these missions, but... I haven't, I just, I can't seem to... I mean, I know Latif is handy for being a sneak. And I'm probably not using him to the best of uh, his abilities, but I, when we do, we just don't seem to have the damage on him. I know I haven't put as many skill points into him or anything yet, but... So again, I think I send Latif on this. I mean, I probably should use him in missions more, but... Um... Yeah, I think I'm going to take Celestine, Eddie and Ingrid on this one. So we will send Latif on this one. There's no point Ready to get your um, hands dirty. not doing that. It's basically free intel and supplies. Uh, and we will do this one. So we will swap out Eddie here. And we will swap out Celestine for this one. So equipment wise. Um, take a grenade. 
We have got the cheaper grenades as well. You can't, again, I don't think there's a way of selling any of this stuff, so it seems a bit of a, unless maybe there's a way it gets, um, gets introduced later, but you just feel you should be able to sell these because you can't do anything else with them. Um... Maybe just take a cheap grenade as well then. And use keep one slot blank. I think we go for this one already. Um just some basic armor. And we go for I think we usually use this one on him. So Celestine we go it makes sense to go with uh, stress, I think. Um, and we could possibly take a stress heal as well because she has got abilities that can give her stress um, so she does have melee attacks I think we take that then I think we take the speed on her and I guess the armor shred it's probably not overly valuable on this but and then Ingrid um, I think we'll take a thunder bomb and maybe again one of the cheap grenades now I think we usually use yeah this one I think we go with Maybe this one, and we may as well take that. I'm not sure whether this applies to melee hits or not, but I'm assuming it does. It's just a weapon mod, so the melee uh, is still classed as a weapon. Uh, so we'll go with this. So how does the court move so quickly across the globe? The answer lies in Marto Industries' latest invention, the Crossroads Beacon. Through a network of beacons scattered across the globe, the court moves troops and materials across oceans, mountains and deserts at previously impossible speeds. Destroying these beacons will hamper the court's activities and buy ourselves some much needed breathing room. Disable an enterprise's transportation and you disable the enterprise. Okay, so this is the objective, this is the optional one over here, so as ever, um, I think we'll concentrate on the main objective area first, depending on how that goes, we can do the, um, possibly do the optional one after, I don't know how, yeah, this looks like it's probably, I'm guessing this may be where we come for the escape, we've got a second wind up here. This ought to come in handy. Home sweet home. Gouged floorboards mark where furniture was dragged away to make room for military supply crates. The Marto Method 3, we've found a few of these. Beneath a photograph of a smiling Trace Marto cigar in hand. A self-made man is willing to get his hands dirty. A man who makes his own rules doesn't have to. Yeah, I'm guessing this is probably... We don't want to come this way yet, but we'll just have a quick look around. We at least know we've got a... Um, a second win there for when we need it. It looks like we can probably go this way, actually, to our objective, so... Hmm, let's have a quick look down this way first, see which, um, this maybe is the way to the optional objective, perhaps. So that's where we started. Yeah, okay, so we've got, this is the optional one here, so we've got quite a lot of, at least two shades, I think. Can't see him for now. 
Yeah, so at least two shades. Which, of course, can't be taken down. have seen. Well, hopefully if he see us, it won't pull the entire camp. Let's have a look here. Yeah, it's literally just this one guy. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll take that. Um, I don't really think it matters how we do this. Because we should be able to take him out before he even acts anyway. Yeah, the stress build-up is actually... Really you see how easily they fall when you trust in your training. What do we have here? Trouble is now she might be. I oh, know. Let her come over here then. Now it really yeah, begins. That's fine. Fifty percent. May as well see. That is still not a flank, apparently, from there. Um, yeah, I think we take this again. Not in range of uh, Adder's kiss. Can I actually hit her with this. You can't stop me. Yeah, stress broken again already. So. And then if we move as far as we can, still not in range. Oh, we can finish it with this anyway, not a problem. Oh, that's now pulled the camp. Oh, that's interesting. That's strange. I wonder why that's happened. Huh. Hmm, that's weird. Okay. How strange. Okay. Although it doesn't actually look like they're properly active. That's really weird. It doesn't look like they've got a... Um, this all looks like a dead end over here. It doesn't look like they've got the reinforcement tower at least but it's strange they don't actually look like they're in combat to me but well we may as well just don't move a muscle now. hold on for now um, I don't think anything's going to be able to get in range yet anyway There's no time to waste. Yeah, okay, so I don't are, think so. They are obviously properly in combat, so um these shouldn't be able to get in range. And I don't think we can move out of this safely, it's not like an overwatch um cone, I don't think. But these are going to be worth primary targets. So let's think about this. So these are pretty close together, these two. Can we stress? We can actually stress break both of these. And I don't think... Yeah, she's not actually in McCone either. This might not be a bad time to do this. 
We can stress break that one and heavily stress the other one out. Strike true for those who cannot. We can go for the... Yeah, this is the curse. Yeah, Your we'll mind is no match for my own. Because she doesn't need to move on this turn. She's not in this corner anyway. Um, she can finish this guy off for free, effectively. And then this one, he's pretty much... This will actually stress break him, so... Um... I don't think we need to go for the knockdown. We may as well go for the stick and move, I guess. You've linked. So that will... So can he be finished off now? Yeah, the stick and move probably wasn't the best choice there, actually. Um, yeah, he can be finished though, so that's fine. The quicker we cut through them, the better. Unfortunately, well, yeah. No, yeah, she can still move again. That's fine. But you've got to kill these, haven't you? Or I think these just move around. So what else can we do here? We've got... We have got grenades we can use. Um, we can hit two of these. We may as well do that. Um, she, yeah, I don't think she is in cover actually. And again, he doesn't need to move either. Um, he's not actually, unfortunately, not in range of that. We've got bullseye. We can take. I don't know if we need to deal with this. Um, let's get rid of that anyway then. And let's add some targets to this. Um, then what do we do? Do we... We can just about hit and stress break her with a grenade. If we want to do that. This would also... We've got no other targets for dual shoot. Okay. Um... Or do we just move? Maybe we just move. I would have liked to have kind of... We basically got a choice here if we either move move him out of, you know, into cover or we take this one out of the out of the equation I think we do this because she might actually attack she might attack um, well, unless we kill her, she might attack her other teammates because she'll be stress broken I told you I could handle this on my own the gods smile okay, so upon us is tonight. still alive but the fact she's stress broken, she might shoot at some of her uh, buddies, maybe. Going somewhere? That's nice. That's nice as well. I don't know why they're running right into melee range. That was pretty good, I would say. So, um... We've got Whispering Knife we can take on... I mean, this is only 60%, but I think we may be wise to take this. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I was just thinking it could have we could have got the stress break on that. So what else have we got here? Um, we have got the Mesmerize. We had us Kiss. We are in range of both of those we could risk this but it is just a complete flip of a coin we'll either gain an extra action or we'll give ourselves free stress 
Look at part cast poisoned, which probably that would actually stress this one out. Stress break this one. In fact, can we get both of those? Don't think we can. Oh, we've got this. Not in range of that. Okay, so let's see what we can do. What's Eddie got here? I don't know if this one stays stress broken or do, do they recover? I'm not actually sure about that. Yeah, that's... So can we get... Yeah, we're going to be hitting Ingrid there with that, so that's... Can we not just get the two enemies? No, I don't think we can. If we can weaken these, you see, or stress them, then Ingrid can finish them off. This guy's... Well, may also get shot off. This one's probably going to get in range if we let, let her. We've, we've got this. That's another option, I guess. But I'm a bit reluctant to use it now. If I don't have to. This one... We could do them marked. I remember Bullseye. Options. Don't want to do it at all. I don't know if it's a risk using this, but we're gonna we're gonna completely waste a move if it doesn't work. Um, we've also got this. That might not be a bad idea. It's a shame we just we've only got forty five percent on on that one on both of these. Um, Okay, well, let's do this. Let's you knock them the both down. Fight. It's not going to be far away from getting a stress break on that one either. Um, we can actually finish this one. Effectively for free. I know he's knocked down anyway, but we can effectively finish him for free. We can get a strike on this. We could get... Uh, we could go and do a stick and move on this one. That one might not be a bad idea, actually. But we could actually do the push kick. Okay, we'll do a stick and move because then we can move back. You couldn't keep up. So at least she's blinded, even if she does. Um, Even if she does manage to act, she's blinded at least. I can probably be back here because then when this one does get up, we might get another hit in on this. And that's the only one in range. Um, Well, maybe we just do this then, take the extra damp. This will, this will actually stress break this as well. There we go, so we can finish this one off for free. Gonna teach you to tangle with Eddie Sawyer. And then we can take... We're just probably going to take some form of hit from... We'll finish this one off. This one, I guess. This one's going to get an action, but and obviously this one may still hit us. And we've got this uh, little moat thing too. Oh no, we've still got an action here. 
wonder why was that our last act? Oh, because we fit. Yeah, of course. Okay. Um, trouble is we've only got one shot now, so this is a dual shot, but we can only shoot once. So we can either finish this one or we attack the moat. Or we can grenade this guy and stress him out as well. I think we probably do this. Seems a bit of a waste in, in the way, but then at least that one is gone. This one's blinded. That'll still hit us anyway. And crit. Twice. Twice. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was hoping would happen there. That's really unfortunate. Two out of two hits. And one of them a crit as well. <laughs> uh, we don't even have any heals either, unfortunately. So, that is unfortunate. So, we'll take the reload. And we may as well take an overwatch. Don't be shy now. And then she can just. Yeah, it's just this literal. He's nearly dead. Oh, he's actually stress broken anyway, so that's fine. So that went pretty well. It's just a shame we took him two hits at the end. This is how some men die on the streets of Montmartre. Follow me. It actually went pretty decent. Yeah, it's just a shame we took him two hits. He's. So hopefully we'll find some uh, bandages or something. I've usually always got bandages on me, but at the moment I haven't. Need a second. No refuge. An old ranger's supply post has been repurposed into an ammo depot. Red barrels leak dark pools of oil onto the trampled snow. Don't think there's anything else. Can't get down there from here, so a pamphlet emblazoned with the insignia of a banished court. Remember your place, give plenty of space for great houses. Non human servants are deadly, territorial, and beyond even your majesty's control. If one of these entities unexpectedly approaches you, avert your eyes and back away slowly. Okay, so we'll go and uh, grab this. Yeah, I can use this. So despite saying we'll uh, do the main objective first as usual, that's just how it's gone in uh, in this one. We've uh, ended up, well, kind of coming here knowing what it was, but fully intending to just take them two out and go back. But anyway, it's done at least. At least if the rest of this goes okay, we don't have to bother um, coming back this way. Okay, so we've got a load of these things again. Um, now again, these look far enough away to... Because these can't be taken down, can they? So... They actually look far enough away to not pull anything else. What do we have here? The trouble is, if we do pull them, I think these are on their own, aren't they? I think these are on their own, definitely. No targets in range. Yeah, I think we just pull these. I, I honestly think these are um, are not linked to anything. Soon find out.
think she can quite. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. The steel, bright and sharp. you can walk away from. Okay, so we want to be heading over that direction. We'll just have a quick, again, this may be the uh, direction of the escape over here, I'm going to guess, because, yeah, it looks like it. There's another... Um, Uh, second wind up there. Plenty of uh, a last thing now found. Uh, mission. Yeah, I'm gonna guess that that is the escape area. So probably need to head down this way first. I mean, again, we've got the option of clearing the escape. Well, in fact, we might have to go through this. If I have a look at it. Um, yeah, we might have to go through that area. Don't think we can get down anywhere here. No, nope, I think we've got to go through this then. So what have we got here? We've got at least one shade, at least two melee ones at the back. We've got at least... One other guy, and there was another one patrolling, so. This could have been the guy patrolling, actually. It's hard to see how many there is. I mean, if it, if it is. Let's see if we can get around the back here. If it is only them sort of four, I don't mind just going in with a slam. Yeah, there's two shades, okay. Yeah, it's two shades and three, I think. Oh, there's a guy up there as well. So we could actually sneak up here. Um, same that. I don't think it goes anywhere, it's just items. So, flash bomb, ether and second wind, frag grenade. Yeah, that's probably not going to help us there. This guy shouldn't be a big deal anyway. Um, yeah, it shouldn't be too bad this. But again, if we can... Um, if we can thin it out a bit before we start. Let's see if we can um we just get this guy on his own first. I want him over here, unless I can maybe get him over there if they stay there long enough. There are more to slay. Quickly now. 
Okay. Okay, so they've seen something. Oh, there's a guy in the watchtower as well. Okay. We go! Yeah, there's a guy come out here, so if... We can get these... Ah, okay, there's one up here. We can get this one separated. Someone has noticed us. That's fine. Yep, that's not a problem. We'll just As take this one on rot, its own. So to the flesh. Don't need to worry about. Wow, stressed already. Okay, finish that one. That's one. There's no reason to draw a fight out. End it quick as you can, however you can. So that's the other. Uh, with two down now, then. This way. Now, are these still, yeah, they are still searching. This one might be better for a slam, maybe. Oh, no, I'm gone. One of us had to die for our chosen cause. One day it will be me. See if we can cause a little trouble. I think it might just be the shades left now. I don't think there's anything else left. And I don't think there's a reinforcement tower. Oh, there's this guy up there as well. Okay. But he doesn't move, so... That's pretty good. So, we've got... This one is knocked down anyway. Um, what kind of shots have we got here? We've got 60% uh, I've actually got 100 on this one, but I don't think it's worth... Let's have a look what else we can do. Got whispering knife there. That one might not actually be a bad. Yeah, we'll take this. Now, are we close enough to? No, we're not. We can stress it though. When the shadows deepen, so to the light. So we do that. Getting shot up here. Yeah, I still do don't not understand that ability. Fear. I still don't under understand that. There's nothing that shows when they actually cast that. Which is really strange. They just seem to randomly cast it. There's absolutely nothing anywhere. How are we not in range of that guy? Hmm, so he is knocked down. This one is stressed, so we don't really know what he's going to do. I thought I'd have been close enough here to... Um, to finish, have a stress finisher, but apparently I'm not. Um, this is because we've got the shock, isn't it? That's why. Yeah, 50% speed down, so that is why we can't finish it from there. But I don't know why. It casts I'm not here that to random play um, Show them what sort for. of chain ability. I don't know why that is. I think we're going to have to just go here and uh, he's already got health down from, uh, from the other fight. So he's up now and we're still burning. Oh, he's coming down. Okay, that's probably better for us. Are we still shocked? No, I don't think we are. So we can finish this one. Do here. 
we do the light him up, so we'll probably take this. Come on out now! Missed them too, but it's still marked. So then we've got the bullseye we can take if we want. We can take it against this one. I think we'll take this. And then unfortunately we can't not in range of anything so we could finish this one oh we can make we can hit this and that'll stress break him so we can finish him then i regret that it came to this keep them on the back foot um we can finish this one for three and then hopefully we might still be in range of Finishing this guy? Yeah, yeah. Which enemy we s do we still have here? Oh, this. Um, well, we'll finish that off then. This was actually... I don't know if the combat will carry on with that. Thanks, partner. That could have gone bad. Fine, so... May as well... Pick up a frag grenade. Um, we'll nip up here with Celestine. This will strike okay, fear have to into their on, hearts. Uh, on her because no one else can actually get up there. Oh, we could actually get up there. We can get up from this side on anybody, so. Absolutely no Better healer that items, I hold on to this. So today's news, Helmut Strum, heir to the Strum Fortune, dead at 85. And what do we have here? What have we got up here? Um, send Eddie for this. We could really do with some sort of heal for Eddie. Shame. Someone left this line around. Smoke bomb, which will take that. Let's make tracks. Invasion. The wooden boards creak and groan, unused to the, unused to the weight of supply-laden soldiers and material. A souvenir. It's typical that one of the only times I normally always bring a healing item. That was bad planning, really, considering we didn't have a healer. I should have brought a healing item, but you usually always find um, healing items on the mission. But uh, it's typical that the one time I don't bring anything, I've not come across a single healing item. And he is actually in quite a bad way. Don't really want to have him uh, wounded again. So nothing there. Okay, so this is the objective. There's a reinforcement tower there. Could really do with thinning these out a bit, but I think all these are skeletons from the sound of it. Skeletons and shades. So we could really do with um, taking as many of the 
humanoid enemies out as possible. We do have this. We can take this one out. We may as well do this. This always works. Hopefully. Except when it don't. Okay, so that's got at least one of them. Now let them just do what they're doing now. The ideal scenario, if we could get sort of pull some of these away, would be if we can get them far enough away from the camp to not like this guy. If we can get them far enough away to not aggro the rest of the camp, but they may all be linked. It's like we're certainly going to pull if we engage here, I think. If we can get him a bit further away, it's possible we can get him on his own. Yeah, he's not going to do. So we can't get round that way apart from going through there. Don't think we can get this way. Unless we can. Let's try this. Shame you can't, like... Sabotage these towers. I might be able to get. Yeah, we can actually get around this way, so let's have a look around here. Yeah, this is a lot of. Uh, a lot of enemies around here. Marto method six. Beneath the photo of Trace Marto standing on the back of a prone factory worker wearing a pain smile. Two men can't walk through one door at the same time. Someone's got to go first, and if it isn't you, it isn't you. So this one obviously won't move. Yeah, this... I don't know how it's best to approach this. If a few of them will come around here, we could blow this up, but... These are immune to takedowns, aren't they? Oh, hang on. No, they're not immune to takedowns. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I thought they were immune to takedowns. Doesn't look like they are then. Okay, that's interesting. And we can certainly take if they are um, able to be taken down, we can probably get a few of them with a slam. But it doesn't look a lot of grouping up on this side. I don't think we can get round the back of this to get these uh, with like sucker punches or anything like that. We haven't got any shock mines left. It doesn't look too bad, this fight, but I don't really want to be um, fighting any more than we absolutely have to. So we can get round this other way as well, can we? Yeah, but only through there. Let's see if we can... Oh. These definitely can't be taken down with shades, but if these can be, I can maybe pick a couple of them off or get a few of them in a slam. The 
this might be a chance for a slam here. Try this, we're gonna have to just go in at some point. Yeah, this is gonna be nah. so. Okay. Probably could have done better there, but also could have done worse. The trouble here is. Oh, yeah, we are. Yeah, I thought these weren't uh, in combat, but we are. So. Okay, so we've got all these at the back. They're probably not gonna be a threat for now. I don't think we need to worry about this. And we've got three turns on this. Right, so we can concentrate on, on everything now. So this is oil. Don't think we've got anything that will set that off. Maybe grenades will. That's going to be no good yet. Um, so we can whisper and knife this one. Not much good using grenades yet, I don't think. Grenade there doesn't look too bad of an option, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Grenade there. Um, this one... I think I'll actually go with a stick and move, then I can move again after. that one's blinded and then we will move sort of as far back as we can now we're just gonna have to be a little bit careful here with Eddie I don't want to take any any unnecessary risks so if we go here we're gonna be in, in full cover we can grenade these again Whispering knife that one, it's going to stress break that. But if we come over here, can we get a. Sh yeah, we will be able to. Yeah, so I think we did this. And then we're whispering knife. Oh, it's only 45% now. Ah. Okay. Um, again, we could try. Man, you don't really know how much it'll help us, actually. Same, mate, we could curse it. If we curse it, it will stress you on it. Not quite. Not quite. It will with this one. Um, we've also got Mesmerise. Oh, I could just I could do another grenade. That's, that's an option. Doesn't quite kill that one, though. Um... I don't know if it, if it can be, he's been, it's saying it can, maybe it can. Yeah, that's saying when she uses the coup de gras ability, she regains, which is, have we not got that ability? Doesn't look like we have, we could risk, yeah, I'm not sure of any. So we can whisper a knife, we can stress break, um, Well, this would actually kill this one. This one would stress break it, but it's only a 45% chance to hit. Or we take the grenade, or we do mesmerise. Um, I don't know if we just wait one more round. Like, I don't think... We may take a hit here. As long as we don't take it on Eddie, it should be okay. Do we go mesmerise now, or is it a bit early? Um, you know, I'm going to mesmerise this one. Hopefully, I'm going to attack blank. this one Listen instead of me. Only to me. So let's see. Well, hopefully, they might attack. Yeah, they're not going to do. Oh, that's the worst scenario. 
That is the worst possible today. thing that could have happened because. One way or another. Just hold on. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna have to get him up, regardless. <laughs> Madame Alumia trained me for this again. end. No! No! So this is. I will leave you behind we're next time. Have to do Ain't that. Dead yet? Or possibly do Let's get else. them in the ground. Um. Still got really bad percent on that one. She's now not mesmerised anymore. What can Eddie do here? He can finish this one. 15% on that, that's not great. Um, other option is to do this. We can actually hit all three of these. Yeah, this might be the best option actually. Time to light them up! The only one that's the only one she can hit, but it's really low percent. Oh, I take the grenade again, it's a bit of a waste in a lot of ways, really. But we can't reach that one. Right, okay, we're gonna have to grenade this. I think it's not ideal, but we're gonna have to grenade this. That'll stress break that one. And then we can stress break this one by doing Have this that. and grenading again. It's not ideal, but that should take this one out of the equation and this one. I think we've still got another one move, I think, before... Yeah, these are coming in on the next turn. Okay, so that one's dead. Eddie's actually healed. What has what has healed Eddie there? Is that something she's got, or is it just from stabilising him? Did he come back with? He actually come back with more health than I thought he did. Because if he stays there, he's got void touch, which is is that just so it's extra speed but lower hit chance. Um, these are going to come in now. You see. I don't think we need to worry about anybody here yet. I don't think we need to worry about them. Um, so I think we'll come here with Celestine. She hasn't got an Overwatch, unfortunately. So she may as well take an evade, I guess. We may as well wait for these first. Okay, so Eddie may as well finish that. We'll try and hit this. That gets rid of that. Blinds him. I mean, I don't know. I think we take the Overwatch because they're not going to be able to actually first sign of movement. Shoot him on this turn. I don't think. I don't think we'll need to worry about these. It depends what comes through here, really. None of these should be able to get a shot off, I don't think. What an unpleasant thing. I was worried about it being a shade. Okay. Not ideal that it's a shade, but at least once this, these have gone, we've gone. So I think the ideal thing here. We've still got an onslaught to use as well. Not going to help us on this turn, I don't think. I think the shade is too far in the back. Um, I've got really low percents on all these. Um, yeah, that's going to be a waste as well, I think. Um, I think if we come back here, is he going to be blinded 
Yeah, he's, he, that's going to run out this turn. You take bullseye there, but on any of these, it's not actually going to kill any of them. Whispering knife would probably, yeah, whispering knife would stress break this one. So let's whisper a knife this way. Bright and sharp. That's gonna stress break that. Oh, coup de gras. Okay, right. Yeah, this is of course. So this will actually give us our signature charge back, which is really strong. So that's great. So now we get this back. Who do we use it on? Is the question. Do we use it on him? Do we use it on the shade? I think we use it on the shade. The only trouble is she's she's right in the open here, but still your mind. Let me in. I'm hoping maybe Yeah, if we go for an overwatch here, maybe. Got an eye out. And then Ingrid, um If we move here, we can possibly take... I don't know if this will work, actually. I don't think it's going to work. Will it work from here? If we knock him into this? Down, yeah, boy. it will. But she, again, she's in the open here. Not, not fantastic, but... Again, that's probably not going to... really benefit us, because that'll be... It stopped it attacking us, I suppose. That's one thing. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that wasn't bad at all. The only thing now is this one is... Um, is back up. Eddie's going to need a reload. And he's got pretty bad sense on all these um 60% do we take that I can't I can grenade this one actually again it's a it's a real waste it seems a real waste just to hit one guy with a grenade but um, we could take the reload and then take a dual shot at this, see if we can get anywhere near stress breaking it, I guess. Um, we've got two chances at 60% each. So we hit one of them. And then... Has this got a cool gun? No, it hasn't. So we could possibly, if we use this twice, Mars is bright tonight. This should stress break it, but we won't be able to finish it because we won't have an action left. But at least it stops it um, attacking me next round. She's where she got an extra action point from. Anyway, and we can finish this one now anyway. It's going to take all three actions, but the last one effectively will be free. So what have we even got left now? I think we've only got... We've got this guy. I'm not even sure what the last enemy is. So I guess we stick and move this one. I like our odds a bit better now. And then move... Move back behind cover. Yeah, so I think we've just rejoice. Slight stress. You edge thing closer yeah, to that, the great that adventure. That is really Get strong. Get him off actually. balance. That is really strong. It basically, means every time we use a coup de gras, we get we get our uh, we get our um, signature back. Um, so that's 
That's pretty strong. Should be able to flank this guy. I just wanted to see, actually, if um, if we stress break this guy. I am every horror made real. Depends where he runs, but yeah. So if we, yeah, we can't. I just wanted to see if we finished a uh, um, finished him on Celestine. Could we stack up to two signature charges, or is it just no drama here. one? I'm not sure whether that's that's uh, something that you can have more than one of at the moment on her, anyway. Okay, so that went pretty well again. Um, again, I think we just took a small stress hit from... Um, from the generator's uh, time thing expiring, but... I don't think it has any other effect, actually. This seems weird how you've got to <laughs> sort of keep switching it into um, turn-based mode for this. It seems a bit odd. Unless I'm doing something wrong, it doesn't seem like... <laughs> you've got to keep sort of switching this into turn-based mode to destroy these. Seems a bit uh, strange. Time to go then. Okay, so that's that. Ordnance ain't this back, but it sure as hell works. So we may as well pick this up. Pace is wild. We've got a pair, there's some up here. In fact, um Come! I've got a spare slot I needed to pick it up with, so may as well May as well take it, whatever it is. Why won't she climb? That's what it is. For some reason, can't climb that. I don't know why. Can climb from this side. Not bad. That was Ethan. I'll okay. take it. Spoils of peace within the crate. Gold glints beneath a burlap wrapping. Moving this aside reveals a heavy gilded portrait frame. On its canvas is a baroque oil rendering of a nobleman who bears a passing resemblance to Trace Martel. Threads of a story. Inside the tent hang rows of court uniforms. Half of them are wrinkled and scuffed, bearing stains in brown, black and red. The other half are freshly laundered and immaculate. Okay, so that's it, and uh, our exit is just right here, so that's, uh, that's quite handy. It is accomplished, and we've left the court with a nice little logistics problem to solve. Yeah, that went pretty well. It's just a shame Eddie went down that once, but it shouldn't be too bad. Marto's crossroads beacon is a wreck, and so are his logistical operations in this region. In the old days, we would have tried to study the beacon first. We would have tried to find out how people and material can enter the crossroads in one place and exit just a few seconds later halfway across the world. But such luxuries are beyond us now. But we've got the optional objective done as well. The 
Imp we've already got. Um, don't think we need another version of that. A revelation inflict blinded on all enemies in, in the target area. Um, I don't know whether we want that. Um, yeah, no, I think we'll keep what we have, get the ink. Yes, a reset to bring. Well, please. well. Destroying this crossroads beacon has dealt a serious blow to Marto's preparations and delayed his entrance to the tower. Doomsday clock set back. Worth the effort. Good. A satchel of intel and some uh, supplies. Yeah, so this is where we're going to get a break point here. So. Half drowned. A rash of mysterious drowning sweeps the globe, plaguing communities from Brighton to Buenos Aires. Swimmers and bathers of all descriptions vanish, dragged to their deaths under seemingly placid seas. Many of the bodies seem simply disappear. So on the Castro missions, all magisters are replaced with half drowned. Fear the long reach of the drowned. Fear the cold epiphany. Child, you know not what the tide has spawned to drown the world triumphantly. Wake up, agents. It's all right. It was just a dream. At least for now. Sounds like a real nasty one. What did you all see? I saw Nicastro's plan for the tower. Raise the seas, turn the world into a dead god's ocean kingdom. I saw hunger. A sort of hunger that's never sated. The more it takes, the more it wants. Nicastro. She raised the seas, drowned every last one of us. And that ain't even the half of it. I saw a great flood. Even more terrible than Noé's. And in the waves. A monster beyond describing. I saw a kraken in an endless ocean. Nicastro was there. She made it happen. I saw the devouring king. Its big, toothy mouth. I could feel its hunger. It wants everything. I saw a dead and hungry god. Its veins coursing with the bright storm itself. You all saw a vision of the future should Zorana Nicastro seize the tower. Unless we stop her, those who drown in her flood will be the lucky ones. Well, there's some good news. I've never been much of a swimmer. So, this steam up of ours isn't going so bad, wouldn't you say? I could take or leave, Mr. Sawyer. But who knows? Maybe the three of us really will save the world. Maybe. And hey, if we survive that, what do you think about coming to work for me? Your brawn, my brains, what couldn't we steal? Work for you? Slow down, Latif. You're not Locke. And a lady needs her creature comforts. How will you pay me? Oh, payment. I forgot about that. Yes, how am I going to pay you? Me, the thief who once stole the Eye of Ra. The Eye of Ra? That's quite a rock. You would need someone with serious connections to fence that. Someone like you, perhaps. Are you beginning to see our future together? I see someone with a tall tale to tell. You don't have the Eye of Ra. Ah, but I did once, mademoiselle. And if I stole it once, I can steal it again. So you're like a witch and a doctor. Witch doctor! I suppose you could say that. I'm a healer. I understand both mundane and arcane ailments and injuries and how to treat them. There are arcane ailments? Magical diseases? Yes, for example. Have you ever heard of jewfish worms? No. Parasites. They feed on the residual ether within a practitioner. Are they painful? Oh yes, terribly painful. Each is about half a meter long, very thin. Removing them from the patient can be difficult since they reproduce so quickly when they find a source of ether. Removing them? 
Oh, yes. In advanced cases, the healer may have to pull out hundreds of them from the patient. Like handfuls of wriggling pink spaghetti. Put these yuffish worms on my growing list of things I was happier not knowing about. Ah, a pistolet automatique. <laughs> French army issue. Good choice for a quick draw, Gamal. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it works well enough. You are unhappy with your weapon? Not at all. It saved my life many times. It's just... The great gentlemen thieves of the past didn't carry weapons. I didn't either. Until two years ago. I understand. It is a dangerous time, this modern world. I'm surprised to hear that from a weaponsmith. Believe it or not, I did not get into this business for the killing. Nor even the money. It was, in the beginning, about the art of destruction. Ah, I understand. The artistry is the thing. Especially for people like us. Okay, so another fate event here, Doomsayer. The end of the world is nigh, or so claims a Melbourne street preacher. Everywhere he goes, crowds gather to hear him speak on the coming apocalypse. Of course, Doomsayers are a dime a dozen, but this one claims visions of a tower crowned with lightning and a luminous storm ravaging the earth. Has he really seen the future? A future in which the banished court seizes the tower at the end of the world? <laughs> so, disappear the preacher, investigate the preacher. These both give us two intelligence, or we wipe his mind for ink. Uh, I think we just go with the middle one here. We still get two intelligence. Don't think we need to disappear the preacher. <laughs> yeah, we go with this one, I think. This man may have the gift of prophecy, or maybe has access to court intelligence worth checking out. The Melbourne-based private eye gives the preacher a thorough background check. He comes up clean for court ties or even court sympathies, but he does have connections to a group known as 27 Less 8, a devoted but harmless seeming cult, devoted to find, finding alleged secret messages in mundane materials. That's fine. Okay, so... We're not too bad now. Nicastro is, is way down. Marto is back to this one. Um, we're going to want to be doing something this week that reduces Strum. And the only one that reduces Strum past the breakpoint is going to be this one down here. I don't think any of these matter. I really don't. Just this week. So it's... This one here is going to be the only one. Um, that's an assassination difficulty three. And this is a difficulty four, which... Yeah. This is the only one that will keep us below the strong break point, but that is going to be a really... I just remember that mission we did that was a free difficulty a few videos ago, and that was really hard. Whether it was just the way we did it, I don't know, but a difficulty four with a Scion? Hmm. I don't know if I fancy. I don't know if I fancy that, but we could give it a go. We may decide to do that. But we will see you next time. We will uh, also go... I think at the beginning of the next one, we'll, we'll go through the um, suppliers and the skill points as well, and uh, see where we're up to with those. But we'll decide on that next time. But that's going to be it for this one, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and also subscribe. It's a new channel. Helps me out a lot, and I appreciate it. Thanks again, and we will see you in the next one.